Hello everybody, today I'm at the Detroit Auto Show taking a look at this 2023 GMC Sierra 1500 AT4X. Uh, this has a 6.2 liter V8 and a 10 speed automatic transmission as, and has been outfitted with the AEV aftermarket components. So starting off up front we have this beautiful, beautiful red tint coat metallic exterior color, blacked out LED headlights with your accent C channels right here that flows into a beautiful brushed metal looking grill. GMC has been blacked out. This guy does have 360 degree camera system, so your front facing camera is gonna be right there. You also have the um, AEV uh, increased approach angle front bumper with your LED lights right here. Parking sensors are integrated into the bottom portion of the bumper and you have built in tow recovery hooks on both driver and passenger side. We also have a synthetic winch up front, which is awesome. AT4X badging is gonna be on the driver's side. Coming around to the passenger side, we have this really nice plastic oversized fender flare that transitions into splash guards. The wheel and tire setup looks like it's a BF Goodrich Territory MT and the tire size is a 275-70 R18. Beautiful 18 inch gloss black wheel. Your 6.2 liter V8 badging is gonna be right here. Gloss black mirror caps with your mirror mounted camera right there. Blacked out AT4X badging along the door side. And something that I love that General Motors does is they give you a thicker coat of paint along the rocker panels to protect against um, rocks and stuff like that. With the AT4X, you are gonna get these nice oversized rock sliders that you can probably get away with using as running boards as well. Blind spot monitoring is included. You also have the passive entry system, so as long as you have the key fob on you, you can lock and unlock the vehicle from the driver or passenger side door. Coming around to the back, you can see the oversized fender flares as well. LED tail lamp with incandescent reverse bulbs, I believe. Second generation tailgate or bumper step with parking sensors integrated into the middle portion of the bumper. Your blind spot monitor is gonna be located right behind there. Passenger side has your AT4X badging and then GMC Sierra is spelled out in the middle. This guy does have the uh, multi-pro tailgate. We will go over that a little bit more in detail later when we take a look at the bed but you have your backup camera right here, as well as your LED puddle lamp for connecting a trailer in low light conditions. Now, right over here, we have your seven pin connector, as well as the interior trailer camera connection, and then your backup camera for the trailer itself. Absolutely beautiful looking exterior color on this guy. Up top, we've got your third brake light, cargo lamp, uh, cargo camera, as well as your rear view mirror video camera. There's also a wing. This is designed to shoot air over the bed. So if you didn't have a tonneau cover, you'd have a little bit um, better aerodynamics and there wouldn't be as much drag. Right here, we have your capless fuel fill port. Beautiful, beautiful looking truck. As you can see up front, you have your AEV branding right there. And here's the synthetic line for the winch. Let's take a closer look at the interior. Starting off over on the driver's side, we have this real nice soft leather with this red accent stitching. This really nice kind of like bumpy leather material underneath with white stitching and piping. All your window controls are gonna be right here. Mirror controls are gonna be above that. You have AT4X stamped onto the driver and passenger side doors. Lock and unlock button with your three seat memory. Right here we have your electronic parking brake, push button transfer case, auto four high, two high, four low. This is your different drive mode dial, as well as your trailer tow mode. Right over here we have the rotary dial selector for the exterior lighting of the vehicle, as well as your LED fog light button and your cargo lamp button. We also have the dimmer switch for the instrument cluster. Coming up top to the dashboard, we have a really nice soft leather dashboard, again with that white piping and stitching. Heads up display is gonna be right here. The controller for that is gonna be right over here. You have your heads up display height. 
you have the info that it's going to display, and then you have the brightness. Coming to the instrument cluster, it is going to be a fully digital instrument cluster. I love that the automotive industry is moving in that direction. Coming back to the steering wheel, we have a nice leather wrapped steering wheel with no bolsters, but it does have this nice red stitching. Paddle shifters are included. On the left side of the steering wheel, we have all the cruise control buttons as well as your gap adjustment and your heated steering wheel button. Over on the right side of the steering wheel, we have the control pad for the instrument cluster as well as the uh, steering wheel mounted call buttons. Massive horizontal touchscreen display. This is probably the best one currently offered. Powered by Google, it's got Google Maps, wireless CarPlay, wireless Android Auto. You can toggle the 360 degree camera system. You can do a bunch of things through here, including your trailering pre-trip checklist. You can control the climate. This has a 4G LTE connection and I believe Amazon Alexa enabled. As you can see right now, I can toggle through the card system and side load apps. I can have navigation there and then I can have my climate here or I can do uh, navigation over in this one. If I can go back real quick. I can do navigation here and then side load something over here as well. It is very, very cool. Under that you have your push button start, dual zone climate control with heated and ventilated seats for the driver and passenger. Something that I love that General Motors does is they give you the option to have just the heated seat back on independently from the seat itself. I believe this is your lane keep assist button. Parking sensors off, automatic start stop off. It is on by default, unfortunately. This will lower the tailgate. This will turn on your hazard lights. That's your traction control button. Hill descent control, locking rear diff, front and rear locking differential. Nice storage tray right here. USB and USB type C outlet. Nice cup holders, storage tray right there. Minimalist style shifter. Perfect location for the integrated trailer brake control. When your hands on the shifter and your left hands on the wheel, you can easily come back and adjust the gain really quickly. Wireless charging mat's gonna be right there. You also have this nice soft leather armrest that doubles as a storage compartment. We have access to a USB type C and USB outlet as well as a 120 volt uh, 400 watt power outlet. If you are for some reason using this beast of a vehicle as a work truck, you do have these little tabs right here which are perfect for file folders. Beautiful AT4X seats. Two glove boxes. The first one's accessed by pushing this button unless it's locked or it's stuck. There we go. Second one is right here. Coming up top to the vanity, it is suede and LED lit. The headliner is suede as well. Very, very luxurious. Up top on the headliner, you have your three-door universal garage remote, all the master controls for the uh, single pane sunroof, which I love, control right here for the power sliding rear window, as well as all of your LED dome map light master controls, your SOS and OnStar buttons. And then you have your video camera rear view mirror. Right now it's a regular mirror. Flick it back and it becomes the video camera. You can control how bright or how dim the display is, how high or how low the camera views and how zoomed in or zoomed out the camera is. Overall, I really like the interior of this vehicle. Like I've said previously, I love that for this generation, they kind of angled everything towards the driver so it, it feels kind of like you have cockpit seating. Uh, it's also a lot easier to touch something in the top right corner of the touchscreen display and not strain yourself. If it was typically just flat like they used to be so that way the driver and passenger could have equal um, access to everything it would be a little bit more difficult for the driver to touch the touchscreen display let's take a quick look at the back and see how much legroom we have tons of room in this vehicle these seats do fold up giving us access to some under seat storage we also have in seat storage as well on both driver and passenger side it's not super deep but i have pretty large hands and i can fit most of my hand over about halfway in between this seat getting in is real easy with the grab handle Tons of legroom, about two and a half feet of legroom between the front of this seat and the back of this seat. Storage in the form of pouches behind both driver and passenger seats. Rear cup holders for the rear passengers. Heated captain's chairs, USB and USB type C outlets. Center seat has a fold down armrest slash cup holder. And I love the single pane sunroof because the rear occupants get massive amounts of headroom. 
Looks like the headliner is pushed up about three, three and a half inches. Your LED dome map lights are gonna be right here and your hanger hooks are gonna be integrated into the outermost portion of the headliner. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful looking truck. Let's take a quick look at cool the ways bed. to open the tailgate on this vehicle. First way is with the key fob. Second way is with the button underneath the touchscreen display. And the third way is the more traditional way. You're gonna come up to it and push this bottom button. This is the multi-pro tailgate. So you can push this one first and open up just the upper portion, which effectively turns this six and three quarter foot bed into almost an eight foot bed if you use this partition. There is also a tie down point here and on the passenger side. This does have the kicker tailgate audio package. You can also open it like a regular tailgate. When you do that, we have access. It looks like there is a spray and bed liner from the factory. There's three tie down points in each of the four corners for a class leading 12 tie down points. It looks like there's also two more additional tie down points on each of the bed sides. So you have what is that, 16 tie down points total. If you look closely too, you can see that they push the bed sides out as far as they can, giving you class leading amount of bed space. This guy does have LED bed lighting and there is a 120 volt, 400 watt power outlet on the passenger side. You have a little assistant uh, right here to get up into the bed if you wanna use the step or if you wanna use the multi-pro tailgate, you'll push both of the buttons at the same exact time. It will fold down. You can fold this down and step up and in it to the truck. Now, it does add a significant amount of weight having the multi-pro tailgate, but I can do it in one motion with one hand, pick it up, and slam it shut. So there you have it. I believe this is a 2023. It may be a 2024. I'm not entirely sure. The uh, product specialists they have here say that everything here is 2024. However, I'm pretty sure I've seen this last year. Um, so I do apologize in my videos if I said something was the incorrect year. Um, I know some of the manufacturers here have been bringing 2023s in as well. So I'm pretty sure this one's a 2023. Um, it may be a 2024, however, I'm not entirely sure. If you enjoyed the video, please consider giving me a like and share. And if you wanna keep up to date with more auto show content and future vehicle walkthroughs, be sure to subscribe to the channel and head over to my Twitter or my X account and give me a follow as I will be exclusively posting all of my content there first before any other platform. Also, please be sure to check out all the affiliate links in the description below as it does greatly help out the channel. Like always, thanks for watching and have a great day.